Okay, so uh, we tonight, thanks for coming back. I was just with you a little bit ago with my homemade rolls and um, they're over there on the oven ready to be devoured later. Um, but while those rolls earlier were uh, proofing, I went ahead and um, got my uh, sirloin, uh, piece of sirloin meat. Uh, I went ahead and cut that up and uh, cut up my mushrooms and my onion for um, my beef and noodles this evening. So um, I went ahead and did that. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how I start my beef and noodles. Um, so I have got about a pound, uh, it's a little bit over a pound of sirloin. It, I think this is a round sirloin steak uh, that I picked up. And so I've got that just cut up into, you can see these little pieces. Uh, they're not too thick, not too thin. Uh, I've got those cut up and I'm going to velvet my meat. Um, so it just gives it a nice with, I'm gonna velvet it with cornstarch and some soy sauce, uh, a little garlic pe uh, powder and some pepper. But I'm gonna velvet that and cover this meat and let it set in that uh, velveting marinade, I guess if that's what you wanna call it, for about uh, 15 minutes or so. Uh, so we're gonna do that and I wanted to go through that with you. Uh, so let's see, let's start off first with some fresh cracked pepper. Um, I hope hubby is out finishing the mowing. So I hope you guys can see this. I like when he's able to zoom in. Um, so I'm going to put some fresh cracked pepper over this. Um, I'm not using any certain measurements uh, like a teaspoon or half a tablespoon or whatnot. I'm just seasoning this uh, for our taste. Um, so you can do the same on that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of fresh cracked pepper on that. And then I'm gonna take some garlic powder uh, and I'm going to just sort of sprinkle the garlic powder around. I coat it pretty good because we do love the garlic flavor. Um, so, and I'm not using fresh garlic in this recipe. So I've just got a good sprinkle of my garlic powder. Uh, next, I'm going to, um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's put, nope, let's do this. I've got just a little pinch of sugar that I'm gonna put on this, okay? not a whole lot, literally, I mean, just a couple pinches of sugar over this. Maybe one more little, there we go. Cause we are gonna put some soy sauce on it. So uh, you won't be able to taste the sweetness, you know, the sugar in it. You won't even know you've got sugar in it. So I will do that. And then I'm going to, um, let's do this. Let me go ahead and do my soy sauce. And I'm just not measuring this. I'm just going in and just sort of dousing it um, all over my meat. And for the last thing, uh, I am gonna pull out about a tablespoon of cornstarch. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll use, but I'll start with a tablespoon. Uh, so I'm just sprinkling this cornstarch over my seasoned um, beef. Okay, so I might go with maybe a half of a tablespoon more. <clears throat> so this will toss this cornstarch uh, in on this meat and it will give it a really good uh, velvety um, coating to it and um, it'll be good and tender from the soy sauce and um, the cornstarch. Okay, so we'll set that there. And yeah, I'm just basically going to, I've got it in there, see it like that. And I'm going to just get my hand and just sort of run and coat um, the meat with that soy sauce and uh, the cornstarch and my other seasonings. And I'm just gonna leave it laid right out here on the counter in this pan for about 15 minutes and we are going to let that just sort of marinate and do its thing. And uh, then we will, uh, normally, and I've already got it done, I would normally, while this was setting and doing its marinating, I would be dicing or slicing up my mushrooms um, and my onion. 
but I've already done that. Um, so I'm just gonna let these set here on the counter for about 15 minutes and then uh, we will get this beef going and I'll talk to you more about the onion, the amount I used and the uh, mushrooms, which is totally optional on that. And then I'll go over as I'm cooking this, I'll go over all the other ingredients, okay? So right now we're just gonna let this meat set and marinate and I'm gonna wash my goopy hand and we will be back and fry this beef up, okay? Okay, so it has been 15 minutes, our meat. Uh, we've had it in that velveting marinade. My, uh, I put some olive or avocado oil in my skillet and I'm going to put my marinated meat in this skillet. You wanna make sure that your skillet is preheated and it's good and hot. And we're gonna put this in here. Just a little. And then I'm gonna try and put all this meat into a single layer because we want to get a use that cornstarch in the marinade and get a good um, coating on that. So we have our meat going, and I'm going to just let this fry um, on about a medium, uh, just right above a medium heat, okay? And then we will come in and turn the meat, and um, then we'll go to our, once we get this meat done, then we will go and uh, put in our uh, onion and our mushrooms, okay? So let's get this finished and we'll get it flipped over and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I have flipped a few of these uh, pieces here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the rest of them. See that nice caramely um, side there? And that, that coating is due to our velveting of letting them soak in the um, cornstarch. I'm going to try and get these flipped. Might have to go in with your fingers and flip a few of them. Just flip them the best you can. Uh, when these um, cook on the other side, that's when we will bring in our um, mushrooms and our onion and I will talk to you about uh, the amount that I diced up for this recipe, okay? Our meat is pretty much cooked. Uh, if you do see a few pink spots in any of this meat, uh, it's not a big deal because this uh, will simmer for a little bit. So um, I am going to just clear out a little spot in the middle of my skillet and I'm going to add about um, two tablespoons of butter to my skillet. And this is what we're going to, um, we're gonna put our onions and our mushrooms in. And over here on the onions and the mushrooms, this is one medium sized onion that I just sliced. So see, it's not super thin, not super thick. And this, as far as the mushrooms go, and this is totally optional, um, but you can, uh, I've got about six ounces of mushrooms um, that I sliced up. So mushrooms are totally optional, but one medium onion, six ounces of mushrooms. And I've got my butter in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop my onions in the middle. And that might look like a lot of onions, but they will like shrink. So let's get those going in there. And then you can start incorporating the meat in with it as well, but I like to make a well for it. And let those just cook up for just about a minute. 
and get nice and coated and then we will add our um, six ounces of mushrooms to it and get all this sauteed. Good and coated. Now I'm going to put my mushrooms, and we love mushrooms. I'm gonna put my mushrooms in here. I just sort of stir them around. And when our mushrooms have um, become sort of golden, uh, we will go to our next step and we will um, go with a few more seasonings and our beef broth, okay? So our uh, meat, our vegetables, our mushrooms are getting that real pretty golden brown. And so now I wanna deglaze my skillet just a little bit, ever so slightly, um, before I do my next step. So I've just got beef broth. Um, I'm just gonna pour just a little bit in here, just enough to deglaze um, my skillet. Okay, so we're gonna just scrape all, if there's anything stuck on the bottom, scrape it all off. That's where your, your flavor is at. Okay. Now, now with the beef stock, I am going to pour in and I'll show you uh, when you see on the edges here in a minute, because the amount of gravy that I want for this dish. So, I'm pouring it in. I want quite a bit of gravy. Danny likes a lot of gravy. Okay, so if you see um, the sides here, okay, it's about up to there as far as the gravy goes. Pour a little bit more. I'd much rather have too much gravy than not enough. Okay, so that's the amount of liquid that you see. That's the amount of gravy that I'm going to have. And so that's just a beef stock, okay, or beef broth. And um, I am going to sprinkle on the top of this. If you've noticed, I haven't added any salt yet because of the um, soy sauce and the onion soup mix. So I'm just going to sprinkle on top just a little bit of this uh, onion soup mix. About, I, I, and I'm not measuring on this. I normally don't. It's just some good pinches of, um, of that. So there we go. We're gonna bring this up to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it down and just let it simmer. So I'll let this come up to a boil, turn it down, let it simmer for about five minutes. Then I'll go in and add my thickener to it and we'll taste the broth to see if we need to add any additional um, seasoning like salt or whatever, okay? So let's bring this up to a boil. Okay, so our uh, steak and our onions and mushrooms, uh, they have been simmering now. They came to a boil and I let them simmer for about uh, seven to 10 minutes. And uh, I'm gonna taste, let me just taste the, the broth to see if we need any extra seasoning. I don't think that we do. Uh, so now it's time to thicken uh, our broth and to make our gravy. Uh, so we're gonna do that. Over here I have uh, about eight ounces of organic egg noodles um, that I've got. I wanted to try a new brand. So I've got those in here. As soon as they come up to a boil, I'm gonna let them boil for six minutes um, so they can be al dente. And I've got some green beans over in the back burner. So let's make a slurry for our gravy. Well, look that up. Okay. So I've got my cornstarch here. Uh, I'm going to put in two tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm going to mix in with just a little water. 
it's normally about equal parts. Some cold water. And you wanna stir just the cornstarch and water around. Stir it around. You can normally run your spoon over the bottom and you can tell when you've gotten all the cornstarch up. And it's in with the water. Okay. And then we're gonna just put it in here. Let that come to a boil. And we will thicken up and make our gravy. I'm gonna let this come to a boil. If I think I need to have it thicker, I'll, uh, you know, of course, add um, maybe another teaspoon uh, to it. I wouldn't go more than that. But let's see how this thickens up and if we need to add any more. Okay, my gravy needs to actually be a little thicker for our taste. So I went ahead and I mixed up a one teaspoon, or I'm sorry, one tablespoon of cornstarch with some water. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pour that in and let this thicken up just a little bit more. Okay, so we'll stir it around here and I can almost see it starting to thicken up a little bit more already. So we're gonna keep that on about a um, low, okay? And let that just sort of finish thickening up. Uh, my noodles are done. And actually what I'm going to do with my noodles, um, just keep an eye on those, Danny. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of, I just rinsed the noodles, I didn't, um, or I drained the noodles, I didn't rinse them in water because I wanted them hot. I'm going to put about um, two and a half tablespoons of butter. I'm not gonna open up another stick of butter for it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that butter in there. And I'm just gonna let that butter melt. You can put olive oil in over the noodles if you'd like. I like the butter. Um, of the noodles. So I'm gonna let that just sort of toss those noodles with that butter. And, well, let me get this one little stick over there. There we go. I'm gonna put the lid on it and just let them sort of uh, melt the butter. And when we come back here in just a few minutes, I will plate that up and I will let Danny have a taste test of my beef chips and gravy and the noodles and my rolls. We're back with our bowl of beef and noodles and our roll that we made earlier today. Yes. That's in the video and I will uh, put that link in the description box below um, for our roll recipe. So I'm gonna let Danny taste test Best our beef and noodles. Best part of the video right here. Best part of the video and right here. Right, let's get a little bit of meat. Really hot. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry. A little that bit of noodle. Tender, I got it? a meat. Oh, that's a big noodle. You better. Yeah, there you go. Meat. I got mushroom. A little onion in there. Let's see. That is really tender. Good. You're just melting your mouth. Good that is delicious. Good. I love that roll. And yeah, you love them rolls. Hmm. What about the rolls? They're soft, aren't sure. they? And buttery. Best rolls you ever eat. This, this right here is really good. I'm gonna take one bite. Watch. <laughs> mm. Good. That's good. Good deal. Okay, so um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my page, to my channel, I keep on saying page today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, please go over and do so. Feel free to comment um, on any of my recipes. And I appreciate you guys, guys and girls, so much. Um, I enjoy doing this for you. So until next time, my friends, be safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Thank you.